volleyball coach Jody Rogers and coach you've got to be excited you've earned the right to host the 2011 GLVC volleyball tournament starting here this weekend first match at 8 a.m. Friday morning but you don't play until 8 30 in the last match uh, against the winner of the 10 30 match uh, but just your thoughts on your team going 15 and three in the GLVC and being the number one seed and hosting the tournament this weekend. Yes, um, the team should be very proud of themselves to definitely be hosting this tournament. I think the girls are ready to play and uh, we're gonna just take one game at a time and then see how it goes. You were picked to finish second in the GLVC East, you know, by the coaches and the preseason poll behind Lewis. You know, is that a motivating factor? How does it feel to kind of maybe prove some of those preseason picks wrong that you finished with that top record and the tournament is here this weekend? Absolutely. I mean, it's an honor just to, you know, Lewis is a great program and so is Northern Kentucky. And so we're in a tough division and so is USI. So I think it's just, it is what it is. And people vote for us a vote for them. And it, it's going to be a battle every time we go out on the floor. And I, I love that. And the girls embrace that as well. So it's only a good thing. You're ranked this week, number 21 nationally in the country. You've been ranked... 10 of 11 weeks this season, actually 35 of the last 36 weeks overall as a program. You know, coming into this year after losing a couple of All-American talents uh, last year to come in and still be one of the top 25 teams in the country, you know, what do you credit you know, your ability to kind of keep this thing going to? I think it's just in part of the girls really wanting just to play well and, and win. And it's it's really just a test of how they their character is. And they all want to work really hard. And it, to be honest with you, the, the national ranking is a great thing to have. But it really we haven't really centered around it this season just because we've had more stuff going on with our team. So I think we want to focus on getting better throughout the season. And it was a privilege to be ranked in the country. But we also wanted it to be top in the region. And that what's what would get us to the NCAA tournament. So we focus more on that kind of stuff than a number because you no know, when you have a number in front of you people kind of play a little different on you so and that's what we've been having to prepare for number three in the midwest region this week in the rankings you know hoping to stay obviously the top eight make the ncaa tournament you know if you win the glvc tournament this week you need to get that automatic bid do you look at those regional rankings much to see or do you do you just want or do you just want to be in that top eight and be in there or do you kind of target a position to be in obviously you want to be tops and host the regional but if you're not doing that do you kind of target just Happy, good to be there, and then you take it from there. You know, when we first started getting into the national rankings and the regional rankings, I was just praying, oh, let us be in the top eight, please. And now it's more strategic of who you're going to match up against, and because it's all about matchups. And of course, some coaches want to be at a certain situation, but you got to still play the game. So I think we're more focused on, again, like we are in the conference tournament, just taking one game at a time, and that's what we're going to do at the regional. But first, this weekend is huge important. We're going to worry about the conference first and then see where it falls. And, and hopefully, you know, we would love to, you know, host. But, you know, the other thing, too, is it's not going to matter. we got to win regardless if we're here or wherever we're supposed to be at. Let's get into your team just a little bit. You know, kind of who have been some of the really key contributors? It seems like it's kind of match by match. It's a different person. But who are kind of some of the key contributors that you've been really proud of this season that kind of got you where you're at right now? Yeah, well, first off, our senior leadership from Courtney Engelmeyer and Christina Heff and Hannah Kelzer have been great. But we have Christina um, Carrigan, who's stepped up huge. And Heffron is each year she's gotten better and better as a player this year she's more of a vocal leader on the court she embraces people so and she has, has a fantastic year I mean she's caliber of a player of the year award um, and then I have um, Megan Binkert who's the freshman setter who's definitely has uh, every opportunity to get freshman player of the year um, and then I got Courtney Engelmeyer who's definitely been fantastic in conference as you can look at the conference stats she's been tremendous but uh, most all of our plays have done really well and stepped up differently each week so it's I'm glad Glad that has happened. I I wish it was we could have everybody you know be nominated, but it do, it doesn't happen that way. And I think that we have a good uh, outing for hopefully getting some potentially getting on the ballot. You mentioned Christina Heffron having a great year, a Player of the Year quality year. You know, going you know kind of as a player has grown. I mean, she wasn't all she wasn't even all conference last year, and now she's in the discussion that short list of Player of the Years in the GLVC. What do you attribute her growth to to have such an outstanding senior season? I think it just comes down to her character too. She's always worked hard in the weight room, out you know, working out, getting things done. But she also is letting it. She's playing relaxed this year, so I think that's letting her all all come out. And and she has a a nice a team around her too that makes her. And Megan Binkert is a, a freshman setter, but she makes hitters look very good. 
good. So it, it's also been a good testament to that. But she also just lets other people around her elevate her too. So, and we're putting her in a situation where we're giving her a lot of responsibility, and I think she's embraced that. So same with Christina Kerrigan. She's not, hasn't been a sixth rotation outside for me ever. So I'm asking her and her friend to do those two things this season, and it's been from tremendous for the program. As you can see, we're, we're trying to win the championship. Coach, we talked about it a little bit, but just with the tournament coming up here this weekend, uh, can you give a prediction here to Greyhound fans about what they can expect for the GLVC volleyball tournament just outside the door here at Ruth Lee Center this weekend? I think they're going to see tremendous volleyball, and I'm not going to make a prediction, but um, we should do very well. Well, Coach, thank you very much for the time, and good luck this weekend. Great. Thank you very much.